Hello everyone, welcome back to LMC Varsity Sports. It looks like the rain gods have spared us for now. Hopefully that remains true as we're here at Marinick High School for some boys soccer as the undefeated Marinick Tigers at 4-0-1 host the Scarsdale Raiders who come in at 0-3. But don't let those records fool you. This is always a, a hard fought rivalry game. You know Scarsdale's gonna be hungry looking for their first win of the year. So uh, we'll see how these two teams take to it on the wet turf. The opening kickoff coming up next on LMC Varsity Sports. We are set to go, Cole DeSico at midfield. Tigers will have the opening kick, 40 minutes on the clock. The goalies in today's game, Max Vicinelli for the Tigers and Ben Lehrberger for the Raiders. Bit of a cool breezy day, rainfall during the pregame, but it stopped about a half hour ago, may come back. Hopefully it won't. Opening kick, we are underway and it's booted out of bounds by Patrick Artez. The defender, so this is a midfielder for Scarsdale. Tiger throwing, and uh, so they didn't settle the boy, the the ball boy situation here. They don't have a ball boy. They don't have any extra ball. Well, not on this side of the field. There is one in midfield on the far side. Looks like they've got it squared away. Throw came in towards Angel Martinez. Now Aiden Evans. Tries to center towards O'Reilly, kicked away by the defense. Tigers are on it. It's Jack Biggs who sends it near side to Evans. Evans up to Martinez. Couldn't play it, taken by Nick Coita for the Raiders, and they play it through quickly. Dylan Cohn with Luca Navias up to Cohn. Offsides is the call. So a free kick for the Tigers coming up. J.B. Connor who sends it deep. Kick back the Raiders way. Joel DeMello on it with Koita. It's out of bounds, Tiger throw. A Marinica team coming fresh off a win on homecoming weekend against previously number, in the, number one ranked in the area, New Rochelle, the defending state champs. Knocked them off 1-0 on a second half goal by Cole DeSico with major assist on a nice pass by Carlos and Terriano. New Rochelle knocked both of these teams out of the playoffs on PKs last year. Mamaronek in the quarterfinals and then look at two days later, Scarsdale in the semis. This one comes all the way through. Vicinelli's there to play it easily. He rolls it to his defender. That's in Terriano. Jack Biggs sent it up the field. Biggs still riding it. Biggs into the wing, avoided the tackle, ball still in play, and now it rolls through the end line. And that will be a Mamarina corner kick first of the game. It's about two and a half minutes in. It's like Liam O'Reilly comes up to take it from the corner. And that's different. Played back to Interiano, and he'll put it over the goal. So, different approach there. Interiano close to putting it on net. It'll be a goal kick for the Raiders. Let's see Ian Lamas on the field. Wonder if he sustained an injury recently, but he was one of the stars of the first game we did, the season opening tie for the Tigers against John Jay East Fishkill. Only blemish on the record, 4-0 since then are the Tigers. Here comes Scarsdale as they play it back towards Maki Sakin. He sends it up. Says Chris Gargine, challenged, and it's knocked away. Tiger defense, quick to the ball. It's 
Artes who sends it up. Headed by Aiden Evans. Scarsdale still in control. It's Dylan Cohn, but it's stolen away by Martinez. Knocked out of bounds by the Raiders. Martinez's throw to Aiden Evans, and out it goes. Shielded nicely there by Gargine. Artes throws it in. Headed towards the middle of the field. This is Luca Navias with it. Gargine centers further, played up toward the box. Chasing it is Jack Biggs for the Tigers. Raiders get there first. Kick comes towards the goal, but Vicinelli plays it out of the air. His throw is a bit wild. Remember, field's a little slick, so the bounces will be a little bouncier, I guess you might say. So Scarsdale takes over after the throw in here. That kick will stay in bounds into the box. Chasing it is Connor, and it goes past the end line. Goal kick from Amerinik. Five minutes in, both teams have had a couple of looks, but nothing too threatening set on goal. This is Koweita towards the middle and booted away. This is Terriano who sent it away. Raiders get it back. This is Gutierrez. The shot is just wide by Luca Novaes. Almost there, almost there, it's coming! Let's go, boys! Go, Raiders! So, Vicinelli will set up the goal kick. So, Anthony Sanchez, the first time we were here. And uh, my memory was incorrect. That was the second game of the season, home opener for the Tigers. We were here last time. They were already 1-0 when we saw them. So 3-0 since that tie against John Jay. It's a couple of raindrops start to come down. This one's sent up, plays on sides, but it's disrupted by the Tiger defense. They try to clear it out of their side of the field. It's been on the Scarsdale attacking yeah, side for a while. Taken away by Gaugin, sent away by the Tigers. And out of bounds off of Aiden Evans, so Scarsdale keeping the pressure on. Gaugin played it up. Sent back toward Martinez, and he will walk it up. Tried to play it toward Cole Seco, but couldn't get it through. Lead for Koita, back to the middle, give and go. Koita with Evans and sent away but out of bounds. And it looks like they're actually going to call a foul there on that last play. Bit of a late whistle, but regardless, it is a Mamaronic free kick. JB Connor. We'll take it. Big kick up the field, sent deep, but Scarsdale right back on it. They're highly motivated today. This is Mark Gouda who plays it toward the side. Whose is it? Marinick throw will be taken there by Martinez, but thrown out of bounds. And it's a Raider throw. Kicked out of bounds towards us, won't reach us. Yesterday we had one reach us at the Reineck game. One taken away, and I think a handball is the call there. So it just hopped up and touched the hand of Martinez. Incidentally, but doesn't matter whether it was on purpose or not. Free kick, Scarsdale, taken by Fayez Merchant. Centering and over the head of Navias, a goal kick. 
for the Tigers. New coming in, they'd be a competitive team this year. And then after the 1 nothing win over New Rochelle, Lohud says the number one team in the area. That comes with some high praise considering Section 1 teams took four state titles last year. That one on goal, and it goes just past Vicinelli, and I think it hit the post and deflected out of bounds. Will be a Scarsdale corner, so as I was saying, Class AA, A, B, and C, all those state champs are from Section 1 last year. They're not having a single state champ for a few years. So a big statement from local teams that, yes, they're good at soccer. That one headed away and out of the box. Scarsdale still in control. Scarsdale's passing has looked solid. Might be one of the best, one of, or not, if not the best 0-3 team around because they play with some tough competition. I think one of their losses was to New Rochelle. A tough team, it's a tough league. Got Marinick, got Scarsdale, Neuro. Teams that can place a ball. That one whistled down. As the rain picks up just a bit. Still mostly a medium to heavy drizzle at this point as we're 10 minutes into the game. Be a Tiger. Free kick. Out of their half of the field, but back it goes. And I was calling him JB Connor. That's actually Eric Doolin back there, number 19. Thought I saw 18. And Doolin on that one. It'll hop out of bounds. Another Raider throw. Throw-in goes through, sent away by Gouda. Pass midfield, Raiders will chase it down. All the way through it comes into the box. Will he get there? Yes, as that's Chris Gaugine who chased it down. Centering feed can't be settled. And almost an attempt, Tiger defenders got in the way. Still in the box for Scarsdale and now headed out. Scarsdale throwing though from deep in the Mamaronic side of the field. Throwing comes into the box. Tiger feet first to it. Clearing attempt goes out of bounds for a Raider throw. Sent out by Interiano. Play still live. Good slide tackle to get that ball away by Scarsdale. As Merchant playing some center back. Merchant, one of their top scorers last year. He'll play up later in the game if they need him to, no doubt. It's finally a bit of a reversal for the Tigers. DeSico with one of his first touches of the game. If he's touched the ball since the opening kick as the rain picks up here at Memorial Field. Free kick coming for the Tigers. It'll be taken by Eric Doolin. Just a yard beyond midfield. He plays it quickly as the fans disperse slash open their umbrellas. And I'm just toughing it out with a baseball cap on. Goal kick for Scarsdale here. Hopefully this is just a passing shower. And 20 to 40% chance of rain was what we saw on the hourly before the game. So nothing too sustained expected. That one's sent out. It's a Marinick throw. So they're being on the defensive for 
much of the past five to ten minutes. I'll try to mount something together here. Into the wing. Centering feet is too strong. It stays in bounds, but rolls out of the sideline. Scarsdale throw. With 14 minutes gone by in this one. No score. Scarsdale has had a bit of an upper hand so far. And around in circles is Maki Sakin. He finally unloads to Merchant. Now back to Sakin. Sakin up the field to Cohn. And a little bit too strong there trying to find Artez. Tiger throw. And uh, Martinez will leave it for Aiden Evans. Back toward the center of the field. Tigers first two, and it's sent up by Interiano toward the far side. Handling it is Biggs. Couldn't keep it. Scarzel with a few players. Novias had it disrupted. Back to Novias in the center. Long range shot pawed away by Vicinelli, and he'll pick it up before a rebound attempt could occur. Vicinelli's punt will go beyond midfield, headed forward by DeSico, but Raider defenders all there. Played back toward DeSico, and he'll race Merchant for it. That play clean, all ball, as Noah Patrick was trying to challenge. Artez played it up, went off Gouda's head, and now sent away by Doolin out of bounds. And fresh ball comes to Artez. Raiders off the throw in. Navias lost it. O'Reilly tried to play it up. Quick touch for DeSico but could not settle it down. That's kicked out by the Raiders, Tiger throw. Nice idea, nice idea. 16 minutes gone by, no score between the league rivals. But if the pace of play has meant anything, this game won't stay scoreless too long. And that one booted out by the Tiger defense. I think it was Interiano who got the foot on it. Quick head by DeSico. And now settled down by the Marinick. Who is that back there? It's Noah Patrick, who couldn't keep it in bounds. Rain has dwindled down to a light drizzle. Knocked away by Reed Sakakini. Sakakini with it again, plays it to Martinez. A bit too strong, Martinez gets there and keeps it in. He sends it further down, Merchant gets to it. And Scarsdale trying to clear. And they will somewhat. Tigers send it back out. That one went off of Gaugine. Two substitutes coming on for Mamaronek. Fresh legs for an offensive push. That's Demetrios Orfanos, who's been a bit of a spark plug for the Tigers. That's centering feed nobody home. Tiger backs have it as Biggs plays it up. Back to Biggs, puts one up, nobody home. The Raiders can try to break it out. Play interrupted by Sakakini and whistled down. Free kick Mamaronik. Looks like Doolin will take this one. A little indecision. He'll rack it up again. He'll play it short. Dueling down the sideline. This one kicked up and way out. 
So Tigers will get the throw from about the 30 yard line. Trying to keep it in. This is DeSico who plays it back. Comes near side as Gouda played it too strong for Evans. Tiger throw, the stoppages for a substitute on each side. As it looks like Sakakini will check out for the Tigers. Fresh into the game is Asher Tannenbaum. That one comes through to Koita. He centers and it goes through. Looking for Novias. Corner kick coming for Scarsdale. 19 and a half minutes gone by and remnants of Hurricane Jose saying hello to everyone. I say away with you. Into the box, loose ball goes through everyone. It'll be another corner. Corner kick put up by Koei Ta. Loose in front, and Tiger defenders get in the way. The first attempt, that one goes off the post. Two opportunities there for Scarsdale. They're not done yet. A takedown in the box, no call. Scarsdale wants a penalty kick. Doesn't look like they'll get it. And a shove after the play. As that was Maki Sakin, who thought he earned a a PK, takedown in the box, no call by the official. It's getting a little slippery out there, so maybe giving them a benefit of the doubt. Scarsdale still on the attack as Koita breaks away with that one. Back in, back in. Centering cross, knocked away by the defense. And now Orfanos will try to clear. Players get tangled up. Centering feed once again is sent away. The Scarsdale throw. 21 minutes gone by. Rain at its heaviest it's been since the start of the game. Wet and wild. Popped up by Sakine. It comes loose. And the last man heads it away. Couldn't tell who that was back there through the raindrops, but a good play to back up Vicinelli, who came off. And here comes the rain. My goodness. That stoppage. They'll play through this as long as there's no flashes or crackles out of the sky. They'll play right through this on the turf field. Not too much fun for the fans and broadcasters. Tigers back on the attack. Played through and that went off the official out of bounds. It'll be a Tiger throw from deep. In towards the corner. Sent back out. Tiger still with some control. That one out of bounds on the Tiger throw. As the winds died down, rain still coming down. That one cleared up the field. It stays in bounds. Kicked back in by Interiano, but Merchant able to send it away. Raiders back on it. This is Novias. Sent up. Tigers trying to get in the way of it. Novias puts it on in a diving stop. Second opportunity. They score. Dylan Cohn got to the rebound. It's 1-0 Raiders. So after Vicinelli made the initial stop, Cone picked up the garbage. Now the Tigers looking to counter. Go, 
Booted away there by Gouda. And Cole DeSico on a rush, but Lehrberger gets there first and he rolls it away from the general direction of the Tiger Star. Tigers, they want to score some goals. They might have to get Cole DeSico a bit more involved. That one played through. Novias gets to it. Kicked out, so they'll take the corner. Just under 16 minutes left in the first half. 1 0 Raiders. Corner will be taken by Nico Bernard into and out of the box, played back toward the corner of the box. Left and right they go, and they'll be picked up easily by Vicinelli. Vicinelli's kick beyond midfield. Unable to win it despite the effort was Orfanos. He was back on it for a second, but it goes out of bounds. Throw in from Bernard. Now he'll leave it actually for Artez. Throw in is just barely kept in by DeMello. Throw in comes deep. Novias. Across to Artez, he plays it up, and Terriano's on it. And Tannenbaum there too, this is kicked way up and out of bounds. Throw in for Scarsdale deep in Tiger territory, 14.30 remaining first half. Scarsdale looking to go up two on the recently crowned number one double A team in section one. Headed in, back out. And Tigers send it to safety. This is DeSico with it. And DeSico hasn't a whole lot to do, so he should still have some fresh legs. He's taken down. And that should at least be a throw in if not a free kick, and it will be a free kick for the Tigers. Coming up is Interiano to set it up at the 44-yard line. Interiano plays it on the ground. Here comes the rain again. Take down, free kick Mamaronik from at the 15-yard line as it is absolutely pouring here at Memorial Field. The good thing is it's not cold. Then that would be a bad combination. Free kick is up, headed toward Evans. He puts it off a Raider into the air. Whoa! Kept in nicely by Gouda. Tigers with it in the box briefly and sent away by Artez. Evans tries to steal it away. Gouda played it up. Raiders able to clear. Avias back to Gaugin. Bernard. And that one towards the Seco. Nobody else near him, though. Kept in. Orfano's chasing for the Tigers. He plays it back to Interiano, and they try to clear it back up the middle. It's taken there by DeMello, and they're not going to allow that. 
as Gouda went to the ground. And tripped up the Scarsdale player. They'll have a free kick, Augene will take it. 11.40 left first half at a suddenly monsooning Memorial Field. Kick <laughs> comes from Gaugine. Missinelli pounds it away. It's still loose. He gets back on his line. And the Tigers able to clear. That one kicked out by Nico Bernard. Stay with the man. Stay with the man. Tiger throw. The pause for a substitute. That's Noah Wolfson, one of the captains, checking in for the first time. One tipped away and sent back up by Doolin. Raiders try to send it back in. Majority of this game played the Tigers' defensive half of the field. And no wonder they're down one nothing. You give a team that many chances. And as I said before, Scarsdale's got to be the best 0-3 team in Section 1. Considerable talent on this squad, just some tough matchups to begin the season. Orfanos couldn't quite get away with it. He was two on one. This is Sakin who plays at far side. As we enter the final 10 minutes of the first half. Gautam might have got away with a push. Played up towards Orfanos. Orfanos towards the Seco, couldn't put it through. Come back, come back. Scarsdale clears up the field, chasing it as Bernard kicked out. It's a Tiger throw. Which will be taken by Aiden Evans. Thank goodness it's 70 degrees out because any colder on, and we'd have some problems. It's wet, but not cold. Free kick for Scarsdale coming up. They try to figure out who's going to take it. Looks like a uh, merchant will play it quickly. He just puts it out of bounds, so Tiger throw. After some sub, looks like three men coming in for Mamaronek. So they try to get some fresh legs in for the waning minutes of the first half. Throw in came to Liam O'Reilly. Gouda with it now. Tried to play towards the Seco. Couldn't do it. Martinez, who checked back in, trying to disrupt the Scarsdale play. He does, at least briefly. Martinez with it again. That's O'Reilly still with it. Got disrupted. And that one played back to Merchant. Sakeen now hits the deck and they call it. And O'Reilly doesn't agree. He says, hey, it's slippery out here. I didn't touch him, but the official does not agree. Free kick goes to the Raiders. Up the center of the field, headed through, and nicely played out of bounds to avoid the corner kick. It'll be a throw in. So give credit there to Eric Doolin. Deep throw instead of a corner kick. Throw comes in, loose in the box, played across, and popped up into the air by Noah Patrick. Scarsdale still in control. 
taken there by Pablo Garza, one of the new subs. O'Reilly trying to come free with it. Gouda plays it far side. It gets away from Wolfson and out of bounds, Raider throw. That's Zach Medvinsky who had it slip out of the hands, but they didn't count it as a throw. He got to try again. Played up by Sakine. All the way across, it's wide of Koei Ta and inbounds. Now it's out. It's a Raider throw. 6-10 remaining first half. One played out by the Tiger D and out of bounds. So the Raiders will keep possession here with a throw in. Raiders played in the box, Tigers clear it out. Back out toward the 40 yard line and now into Scarsdale territory before Merchant plays it up. Come on, Nicola! Play disrupted by Evans. Raiders still with it, headed out of bounds. They'll get the throw. Gaugine pushed off the ball. No call, just a throw in here. Into and back out of the box. Chased down by Bernard. Bernard plays it back to Artez, who sends a high ball toward the corner of the box. Headed out by Evans, Raider throw. Final five minutes of the first half. And Mamaronix have to do something to change up their approach against Scarsdale, as they're having a lot of trouble keeping the ball out of their own end. Thrown into the box. Kept back in, Bernard slipped it up. It's a Tiger throw, still plenty of time here in the half. And there is a quick stoppage here for a substitution. It's like Evans checking out and Jack Biggs coming in. Oh, I'm sorry, that's 17. Declan Harrigan is in, and that's the one who throws it. It was a knuckleball toward Garza, and it's sent out. Raider throw. Far side, still in bounds. Here come the Tigers, sent away, and good defensive play as that one was headed right toward Cole DeSico. Looks like he's checking out now. Good on, let's go. Here come the Raiders once again. They've got numbers. They've got a little space, but it's disrupted at the end there by Harrigan. Raiders still pushing. That one's sent away by Martinez. Patrick trying to play it. We've got a stoppage here. Looks like they got Mamaronik for a push. It'll be a Raider free kick. See where they spot it right at midfield. It's played back. The forward man's Henry Brody for the Tigers. That one comes loose toward the box. In and back out. Koita wide of anyone as Bernard was chasing. Tiger goal kick, two minutes to go in the first half. Scarsdale with the lone goal so far, off a rebound. Go Raiders, let's go 
Goal kick headed up, but not out of their defensive half of the field by the Tigers. Martinez sends that one far side and out. A bit too far for Patrick to handle. Towards the middle of the field, and Bissonelli comes up to cut it off. He gives it a throw. One sent up off the double tap. O'Reilly tripped up. No foul, but a throw in for the Tigers here. Likely about one minute left in the half. Official time kept on the field for the final two minutes. Crossing attempt. Merchant handled it easily. And breaking away with it there is Gaugini. He's able to handle toward the middle of the field and send off a pass. In there, in there. Tigers able to disrupt that one and back the other way they go. Sent across to O'Reilly. O'Reilly trying to find Garza, who's able to settle it before it goes out. Garza back to O'Reilly. O'Reilly tries to send the ball through. Raider defense is on it. That one comes back through everyone. Harrigan back to O'Reilly. Not much time left in the half. And that will do it. So a strong showing for Scarsdale here against undefeated Mamaronek. They lead it 1-0 at the half. Second half coverage coming up next on LMC TV. It's a Raider ball at midfield as we restart for the second half. Fresh 40 minutes on the clock. Luca Navaya standing over it. And here we go. DeMello plays it up. It's Jack Biggs who disrupted the play for the Tigers. We'll see if they have a fresh approach. Not much of what they were trying in the first half was working against this Raider defense. And Terriano gives up the throw in for Biggs. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they may have made and if they result in some more offensive chances. They had one or two real decent looks the entire half. Didn't possess the ball too much as Gouda may have gotten away with a little push. DeSico and that one's not stopped either. That was not good. And now, now it's going to be slide tackle city because they're not calling anything, strangely. A couple of questionable non-calls, and that's just going to make the game get more physical. Sides can't complain. Both sides got away with something. But it's overall safety. You don't want the players to think they can get away with being too physical might result in someone getting hurt. And that goes against Scarsdale. Not DeMello for the hole. Tigers play it quickly. And maybe they weren't quite in position for that kick. As Orfanos couldn't settle it down, it's kicked out of bounds. It is a Tiger throw. Raiders trying to clear. This is O'Reilly. Couldn't send it through. Gets in the way of the clearing attempt. Biggs couldn't quite get there. Gouda does get to it. He sends it way up. Orfanos took a little push and kicked out by the Raiders. This is thrown toward Gouda. Trying to get it into the box, couldn't do it. Raiders defense has been quite solid in this one. That one sent wide to Noah Patrick. That'll go out. And it is a Raider throwing. it. 
booted away by Merchant. Trying to settle it down is Cohen, the goal scorer. Cole centered to Sakin, who sent it up the field. Navias trying to play it up, interrupted by Biggs, and Biggs slide, a tackle out of bounds by Patrick Artez. Be a Tiger throw. Just over three minutes into the second half. Tigers looking for an equalizer. As uh, that one chested out of bounds by O'Reilly. So Scarsdale will have this throw in. It's been dry since halftime, but I'm sure I just jinxed that. <laughs> Played back to Vicinelli. He has to get it out of there. And I'm sorry, it's Lairberger. That's Scarsdale's goalie. Played up. Tigers can't quite get it through as it's cleared away. This is Sing Udai. And I don't know about that call. And Biggs might have a fair beef there. It looked like uh, played the ball. And it's a Scarsdale player behind. They both tapped the ball. So some questionable officiating to start off this second half. First half was pretty good. We thrown in for the Tigers by Jack Biggs. Just over O'Reilly, Merchant boots it into the air. Headed back the Tigers way, but towards the Raiders. As Koita is able to send it toward relative safety. Evans tried to play it up. Tigers wanted a foul called there, but I don't think they're going to get it. It's a Raider throw. Five minutes into the second half. Tigers have looked a little bit better this half, but not much to show for it quite yet. It's been a little bit more in control of the ball. It hasn't been in their end quite as much. Raiders with some possession time now. Up, back out. O'Reilly plays it back to Gouda, who sends it. Popped up ball down the field. Settled down there by Biggs. Centered to O'Reilly. He'll switch it back. On the far side, it's Evans. Back to O'Reilly, he brings it up to Biggs on the near side. Tigers using the whole field here. Trying to get through his big, still with it on the feet. Centering pass and a whiff as O'Reilly may have had a shot, but couldn't quite time up the ball. So it'll be a goal kick here for Scarsdale. Lairberger will send it away. Go on, Ben. A little miscommunication between the Raiders. Now they're ready to go. And a push there gives it to Scarsdale on a free kick. One played toward the sideline. And back out. Up towards Cole DeSico. He hasn't had much to do yet today. DeSico into the wing. DeSico into the box. And out it goes. They both go down. No foul on the play. And goal kick goes to Scarsdale. And a late sub, they allow it for the Tigers. Martinez checks out for Asher Tannenbaum. Here comes the goal kick. Comes near side, headed by Patrick, but sent away and out. 
by the Raiders defense. And a through ball comes to Cone, and it's knocked away at the last moment by Aiden Evans. Raider throw in. Tannenbaum sends it near side, chasing it is Patrick. He's able to keep it in. Might not have been to his benefit. Raiders. Good ball movement. Tigers finally do disrupt the play and back the other way it goes. Trying to play it through. Merchants there to settle it down. Kicks it out near midfield where the Tigers will have a throw. This is DeSico. In the wing, it's Patrick. Patrick tries to center. Uh oh, here comes some more rain as the Tigers handle toward the center of the field, but sent away by the Raider defense once again. Sent way up toward Novias. If he wins the race, he's all alone, but he doesn't. Play still live. As O'Reilly with it. Back to Gouda. Now Tannenbaum. Up toward Patrick. Patrick plays it up. DeSico gets to it. DeSico tried to center. It goes out off of Fayez Merchant. And that'll be a Tiger corner kick. Their second of the game. Their first one came early in the first half. And Liam O'Reilly, the sophomore, will be putting it up. You know, Scarsdale paying good attention to where Cole DeSico sets up for this corner. Ten minutes gone by, first half. Comes through, the shot scores! Tie game! I believe that was Demetrios Orfanos. Off the corner, and we're tied at one. Tiger throw here. They're able to settle it down. A little collision there. They'll give the free kick to Scarsdale. And welcome back to monsoon country. This is Kieran Ramachandran who sets it up. Free kick into the box. Vicinelli picks it up with ease. Headed into the air. And that'll be sent up the field, still in. Tigers trying to clear, it goes out. Should be a Raider throw, it is. Throw will be taken by Patrick Artes. Throw near the corner of the box. Not quite in there yet. A long range shot is high and wide left. So a goal kick here for the Tigers. On a bounce, it's headed out. Tiger ball. And I think they're going to reset that. I think Biggs took a step or two too far as kind of throwing the ball end up in the stands. But now they'll set it up. Biggs' throw towards Gouda. 
Back the other way it goes, and a push at the end of the play. It'll be a free kick for Scarsdale, and they'll play it quickly. Player hits the deck. Navias to the ground. It'll be another free kick for Scarsdale. You gotta be careful with the contact here. Turf's gonna be wet. It's been raining on and off. And when someone falls down, it's really easy to call the foul. And it's easier for people to fall down. Pretty simple logic. Merchant off the left foot, headed up and out. Might be good for three points in football, but well, the other kind of football, the American football. We're not playing that right now. It was off a tiger head, though. It'll be a corner kick for the Raiders. They'll try to figure out who's taking it. Koita, who will take it from the near side corner, right in front of Sean Kelly, our cameraman. And into the box and back out. DeSico closest to it. He plays it back. Picked up by Vicinelli. Headed further up. No Tigers there at the moment. Orfanos almost disrupted that. It'll be booted out. Tigers throw with 26 minutes left in regulation. Just had a game go to overtime yesterday. We're at the Ryan at KO game. That one, a decision about a minute into overtime by the Unicorns in a Class B powerhouse matchup today. Class AA, not that much different. A goal for each side. 25 and a half minutes left for someone to try to break the tie. That one comes back out. Biggs played it up. It'll be a Tiger throw and Noah Patrick. And they're going to re-spot Biggs. Throws it toward DeSico. Biggs tries to play it through toward Patrick. They get tied up, shielded out, and a goal kick for Scarsdale. So Lairberger will take the foot to it. Headed by Patrick. In the air by Merchant. Patrick again. Trying to come through with it was O'Reilly. Raider defenders are on it. Doolin got in the way of the clearing attempt. Scarsdale in control now. As that's DeMello. Played back towards Sakin. Trying to swipe away with it was Orfanos. So they give it to Scarsdale on the throw. No foul on the play. Double tapped. Into the Raider defense and almost disrupted there by DeSico. Tigers trying to put a little pressure on here. Played back to the keeper and oh be kicked gosh. out of bounds. Tigers will have a throw in pretty deep in Scarsdale territory. Throw in comes toward DeSico. Into the box, but not settled. And out it comes off the foot of Merchant. Scarsdale quickly looking to reverse course. Ball comes through. Was disrupted by the defense. Back the other way from a Marinick it comes. This is O'Reilly and now Gouda who kicks it way up toward Noah Patrick, but it takes a wild bounce and goes out for a Scarsdale throw. 
Sent up on a bounce over everyone's head. Coming back for it is Interiano. Interiano again, that's going to be a hold. I believe against Jack Biggs there. And it will be a free kick for Scarsdale. Put up by DeMello into the box and back out as Gouda was first to it. And the Tigers will try to break away with it, can't quite do it. And wet field disrupts Tannenbaum there. And that will go out for a Tiger throw. Just under 22 minutes left in regulation. Shield it out. It's a Tiger throw and hold everything. We've got a couple subs on the Tiger side. It's like Patrick and Orfanos checking out. Felix Miller in for the first time, number 14. Jeremy Caldor in for the first time as well. He's number 15 in the middle of the field. Jack Biggs will throw. Headed back in the middle of the field by Biggs. Clearing attempt was slightly miskicked. Will be a Tiger throw. Throwing came toward Miller. Sent pretty strong to the other side, but settled down by the Tigers, briefly at least. Stolen and back away it goes for Scarsdale. And Terriano gets in the way. Mark Gouda got in the way of that one. Sent up by Tannenbaum. That's Miller with it in the wing. Kept it in bounds, it's sent out. And halfway through half number two, we're tied at one. Deep Tiger throw coming for Jack Biggs. No space, guys, no space! Looks like we'll do it again as DeSico was trying to win the battle for that one. That one sent out by Scarsdale as well. Third attempt at the throw. Guess what? Sent out by Scarsdale. He was a little further back on the field. Played into the box for a second. Miller puts up a cross. Merchant pops it up. Stay in bounds for at least for a second. Here comes some more rainfall as it's sent down the field. Double tapped. And Miller had to retreat for that one. Tigers settle it down, still in. Still with it. Good work by Biggs and O'Reilly. Cross to Evans. Crossing attempt comes through. Biggs didn't quite do what he wanted with it. Will this be kept in? Yes. Gouda. Far side action. Player hits the deck, no call. Clearing attempt couldn't come all the way out. This is Biggs, near side. He handles it toward the corner of the box. Miller. Along with Biggs, Biggs crosses, it's deflected, touched by the goalie, second opportunity, and it was blocked by the defender, Nico Bernard. It will be a corner kick for the Tigers, but Bernard got in the way of the rebound attempt to keep us tied, at least for now. The Tigers set up a corner kick. Watch the wide! 
Watch your mind, watch your mind! Not too many guys in the box right now. They break the formation, and the corner comes all the way through, and it will slide out. It's a Raider throw, so they'll also make a substitution. Looks like coming out was DeMello and entering Zach Medvinsky. It's Medvinsky on it now for the Raiders. Tigers trying to set up another scoring attempt. This is Biggs. Couldn't put it through. Tigers still on it. As Evans handling near the sideline, couldn't keep it in. And it's a Raider throw. Couldn't quite put it through there. Slide tackle, they allow it. Played back there by Artez. And that will stay in bounds. Had some English near the sideline. Sakeen plays it up for Scarsdale. It's taken by Biggs. Couldn't put it all the way out. Players hit the deck. And they call it a foul against Mamaronik. So free kick quickly taken Merchant, but the ball was not resting. Ball has to come to a stop. Can't be moving when you take the free kick. So they send it back to Merchant, and that'll have him respot it. And now that ball clearly is ready to be kicked. 15.30 left to go. Still tied at one here as that free kick is headed up by the Tiger defenders and sent up and away by Gouda. Playing way up is Lairberger, and that one went off of DeSico, and he got in the way of that one the right way. He could have scored a goal from 40 yards out. Energy, let's go, boys! Let's go, Raiders! Let's go, boys! Scarsdale throw, 15 minutes left in regulation. The throwing goes out of bounds. It'll be another one for Scarsdale. That one's played up by Harrigan. Raiders are on it. Well, disrupted a bit by Miller. Gouda gets in the way. Scarsdale still on it. Played back to Merchant. Sends it up the middle of the field. It gets through, and my goodness, Doolin almost completely failed on that one. Slipped up, but still was able to clear the ball to safety. Here comes Scarsdale again. Centering attempt, Doolin got to it. This is Caldor, who tried to clear for the Tigers. Now it comes near side for Miller. Miller, little ankle breaking move there. Turf getting a little slippery as the rainfall continues. Release him, release him, release him! Successful slide tackle there for Scarsdale. And this one will be cleared out. Raiders still have the feet on it. Played straight up into the box and easily handled by Max Vicinelli. 13-20 to go in the game. High punt from Vicinelli. Headed forward, back out. Raiders might have something here. Novias played it up. Vicinelli races up to play it, but it's sent out by Interiano. It'll be a Raider throw from deep in Tiger territory. So we're under 13 minutes to go.
Two rivals going at it. Nothing decided yet through 70 plus minutes of play. 60 plus at this point, going on 70. Will be another throw in for Scarsdale. Throwing comes into the box. Vicinelli able to settle it down and pick it up. This kick will go past midfield. O'Reilly tried to send it up toward DeSico, but couldn't settle it. It's taken by Sakine. And now sent all the way up. Navias trying to get there. It'll go toward the sideline and out. Tiger throw. But first, they'll allow the substitute. 11 minutes, 30 seconds left in regulation, and if no one scores, there will be overtime. We'll explain how that works as we get closer. Throw in that was sent out, I believe, by Martinez, and it is a Scarsdale throw. The Raider throw in. Towards the middle. And slid out of the box by the Tiger defense. As a little physical play, nothing called there. Tigers couldn't get it through. That one tapped up toward Miller, but sent away by Scarsdale. Trying to make something out of this. A long range shot as well, left and high. And it'll be a goal kick for Mamarinic. 70 minutes have come and gone. Both teams with a single goal. Tigers. In a bid to stay undefeated, they come in 4-0-1 to this league battle. That one booted away by Doolin. But Scarsdale right back on the attack. That leave pass sent away by Declan Harrigan and out Scarsdale throw. Throw-in comes to the box, but sent out off a of Scarsdale foot. Marinick will have a goal kick here, chance to send it away. Keep it here, boy. Keep it here, boy. As the rain just keeps on falling here. Goal kick headed just beyond midfield before it comes back Scarsdale's way. Navias couldn't quite break through with it. This is DeSico trying to keep it on his feet. Sends it to Felix Miller. Miller, nice back pass to Harrigan. Harrigan tries to come through. Miller will take it. Puts a long range through ball. And nicely done by Bernard to not allow the connection there. Comes through again to Miller. Miller centers off of Merchant, off of, I believe, Martinez, and out. Or actually, no, picked up by Lehrerberger before it went out. Martinez saw it coming. He might have been able to head it in, but it okay, got him unexpectedly. That ball comes through. And Terriano on it for the Tiger shields it out. Goal kick. 
Raiders go for a sub. Tigers send in three. And Terriano will set it up for a goal kick. Headed past midfield. DeSico had it on the head, but sent it out of bounds. Throw in belongs to Scarsdale. Go for it, go for it. Taken away by the Tigers, but couldn't connect. Raider throw, under seven minutes to play. So getting late quickly here. Some good moves there by Sakine. That one sent far side, disrupted by the Tigers' defense. That was Evans who got in the way. Play still live and now sent out for a Raider throw in. Ball sent away with the Tiger D, played back in by Sakine. And this clearing attempt comes way out. Look out in the parking lot as that one's on the loose. And uh oh, almost got run over there. That one went through the end line, goal kick for the Tigers. Headed up right at the point of the M. Sent forward by Scarsdale. Levias was on it with Gaugin. Sent toward the corner. We'll go out. Question is which side of the flag and who put it there? Tiger goal kick. Final five minutes of the game. Unless no one scores, and of course we'll have more. We're not there yet. Goal kick headed by, no, excuse me, Sakeen. And now it comes up toward Bernard. He puts up a centering feed and it's kicked away momentarily. Ball still loose in the box. Tigers send it toward some safety. And bouncing toward the sideline taken by Koita. Into the box, still loose, and now sent away and out. Or is it? Now it's out. And that's a Tiger throw. Fortuitous. As the rain turns into more of a sideways miss now, which is both better and worse than before. Four minutes left. On it, on it, on it! Because Novias. Novias into the wing. That one goes off of the defender Biggs, and it'll be a corner kick for Scarsdale late. 3.30 left to go right now. Run on to it! Run on to it! Well, whoever said this was a 40% chance of rain was just wrong as that sliding scoring attempt doesn't connect. Still in the box and now out. This is not a 40% chance of rain at all. Scarsdale player hits the deck. Might have just slipped up. Play still live. It is getting pretty slick out there, so makes it a little more difficult for the officials to decide what's contact and what's slippage. And that one's cleared out by Scarsdale. 
Two and a half minutes to go. On him, on him, on him. O'Reilly almost left that one dangerously. Pressure. Biggs with it now near the sideline. Back toward the middle he goes. Weaving through his Biggs. Toward the corner, that's cleared out. It'll be a Tiger throw. 2.15 to go. Tigers trying to mount a late offensive attempt here. That one's out, whose is it? It's a corner kick for the Tigers. Watch your line, guys, watch your line, watch your line. Just as we hit the two minute mark remaining. Tigers get an opportunity from the corner here. Ground ball played up, through toward the goal, and just, just over the crossbar. That did not miss by much. Creative play as Biggs was free. This is some soaking rain we have right now. Goal kick for Scarsdale. This might be the heaviest we've seen all night. Well, I've said that before, but it just keeps getting worse. Yes, yes. Here comes Scarsdale. They'll try for a late scoring attempt, but it's cleared out by the Tiger D. Hitting the deck was DeSico, no call either way. Pass came up, headed out toward the sideline. It'll be a Raider throw. Must be only seconds left here. And that one, no one touches it. Finally sent toward the center. And sent up further by Sakeen. Novias tried to find Bernard, but couldn't connect. It was deflected out by the Tigers. That one comes loose and goes out. Who's it off? And the Raiders will get a late corner here with not much time left. They, I assume they'll let them play it out. Corner comes in and out of the box. And that will do it for the second half. We're still tied, you know what that means, overtime. Coming up next. And why not between these two evenly matched rivals. Take a quick break, as will the teams. And we'll be back at it when we get back. We return 10 minutes on the clock. Golden goal, sudden victory is the format. In case you're not down with the lingo, you score a goal, you win the game. Simple as that. And if we're tied at the end of 10 minutes, they'll switch sides, play another 10. No one scores at that point. Game ends in a tie. No PKs, that's only for postseason advancement. We're not there yet. Scarsdale with a quick first rush. Novias has it disrupted as that was Doolin who sent out of bounds. It is absolutely pouring out here. This is Hurricane Jose, just after it weakened beyond, it's less than a tropical storm, obviously. It wouldn't be out here if it was. Corner kick in the box and sent wide. Might have, who's it off of? That's the question. Scarsdale wants a corner. There's a player down for Mamarinic, and he's not getting up. Clock's still running. They haven't killed it yet. And now they will stop the clock. They'll have to bring the trainer out on the field. 8.42 to go in the first overtime. We'll be right back. We return following the injury timeout.
Visibility is not great. Couldn't even tell you who that was, but hopefully he's all right. Tiger goal kick sent away. That's Orfanos with DeSico, two of the top scorers on this squad. DeSico had it for another second. This one sent deep by Scarsdale. Tigers retreat for it. Sent up by Biggs. Raiders back on it. Two minutes, 45 seconds into, or one minute, 45 seconds into the first overtime. And that, I think, will be, it is a corner kick for Scarsdale. Chance to put one in the back of the net and get us all out of the rain. We try to stay neutral here on LMC Varsity Sports, but any play that ends the game is fine by me right now. On the flip side, glad you tuned in and watched this game because I hope you weren't at it. Miserable weather. Great game to watch with a cup of cocoa in front of the TV. Into the box, headed away, and out. So the question is whose head was it off of? Looks like Scarsdale has the throw in here. That was a nice play. Vicinelli picked it up. Decent scoring attempt there for Scarsdale. Vicinelli punts it away. Goes around. I don't know how Angel Martinez can see out there. He has the goggles on. Those must be soaking wet. I know, I'm wearing glasses with a baseball cap to keep the rain out of my face. Hasn't helped. And uh, these glasses don't come with windshield wipers. Could use some. Raiders have it at midfield. And they take another attempt at advancing it. Orfanos with O'Reilly. And now that's Evans who plays it up. Orfanos keeps it in. Orfanos still with it. Played wide to Evans. He keeps it in. And Evans a chance to cross. He sends it in and through. Still loose in the box and a weak shot attempt. And the Raiders, uh, the, the Tigers, they might have a point. Say that ball was last touched by Scarsdale. Goalie shouldn't be able to pick it up, should be a handball, but the officials either didn't see it or they'll allow it. Now back the other way comes Scarsdale and that play is offsides. Tigers play quickly, as this is Evans with it. Deflection tried to find Orfanos near the side. It was just wide of him. Raiders back in control, if you can call it control, out in these conditions. And toward the sideline, couldn't keep it hitting the deck, was Noah Patrick. And the Scarsdale bank, she pops up, he's all right. Overtime in the rain. If you win, it's a game you'll remember forever. If you tie, it just makes it that much more miserable. This will be a throw in for Scarsdale. Tie might be worse than a loss when the conditions are like this. Back in the way for the Tigers. They can't quite clear it out. Getting in the way was Gaugin. Out toward Evans. DeSico. Orfanos in the corner chasing it. It goes out. And it's a goal kick for Scarsdale. Four minutes left in the first overtime. Scarsdale makes a substitution. So we'll have a quick delay here. Odds of a post-game show, not good. Everything and everyone is soaking wet. You got it, Jenner! As 
And Terriano just sends that one out of bounds. Further up, further up, further up, Eric! Further up, Eric! Artez will take the throw. Garsdale trying to control. Another throw in. Popped into the air. Artez sends it back into the box, but through, and that'll be a Tiger goal kick. Three minutes left in the first overtime. No one scores, there will be a second. One booted toward midfield, headed well forward. DeSico is chasing it. Couldn't keep it in, hits the fence. Does earn the throw in, so effort worthwhile. 2.30 to go in the first overtime. Tigers, who were trailing by one, scored a second half goal off a corner. Their strength has always been corners and set pieces. Popped into the air. This rain will not let up. Up the field and out. It's a Tiger throw. Too windy, umbrellas are failing all over the place. I don't think they work so well when they're inside out. I've never seen an umbrella do that. If you're going to buy an umbrella, you're going to have to spend more than 20 bucks on it, let me tell you. You need one of those high reinforced carbon fiber ones. This rain is absolutely atrocious out here. Someone score a goal already, get us out of this. Set up the field. Further up here comes Scarsdale, trying to play it through, and nobody there as it's deflected away. Tigers trying to clear. <laughs> Throw in, up and through. Tigers get in the way. Orfanos has it at the feet. Orfanos still with it. Bonos has it taken away. Good defensive play by Chris Gaugain. And final two minutes now. Might be the final minute by now of the first overtime. Centering pass goes out. Goal kick. And uh, they don't even get to take it. That'll do it for the first overtime. So how about 90 minutes? Not enough to decide anything. Let's play 10 more when we get back. Scarsdale has the ball to start the second OT. This will be the final OT, final 10 minutes of the game, no matter what. Either a goal is scored or we end in a tie. Played back. Rain has, dare I say, lightened up significantly. Field still quite slick. It drains well, but obviously the turf remains wet. Raiders try to put through a cross that will on a corner. Not even a minute into the second OT. Into the box, sent back out, play still live. 
And out of bounds it goes. Whose is it? Scarsdale's throw. Headed back out. Player hits the deck. They rule that he slipped, which is feasible. Played through. Scarsdale trying once again. Long range shot. And just barely leaving his feet was Max Vicinelli to make the stop. The roll comes to Biggs as he'll try to break the Tigers out. DeSico trying to get it through to O'Reilly, couldn't quite do it. Played toward the far side, Scarsdale with it. That's Scogin. They play it back. Bait some of the Tigers out, but Tigers stop the advancement there. And near side with it, clearing it up is Patrick. Tigers still have it. Patrick takes it away, sent back but out by Scarsdale. Throw in. Set through. They want a handball, not going to get it. As Biggs just send it wide of Patrick. Seven minutes left. No matter what, unless a goal score, then there's less. Played back up by Scarsdale. Tigers all over it. Sent up by the Tigers. DeSico with it on the feet. DeSico just outside the box, tries to cross it. Didn't quite connect. Tigers couldn't settle it down. They'll try it again. Biggs slid away, out of bounds. Tiger throw. And it'll be taken by Noah Patrick. Or no, it won't. He'll give it up to Biggs. Kick toward the middle. Raiders on it, up toward midfield. It's the Raider goal scorer, Cone, who disrupted, but he got it back. Tigers try to push it back their way. That was Evans who sends it up, cleared out. And it'll be a throw in for the Tigers, just under six minutes to go. I think the clouds have lightened up, so the rain perhaps passed us, but it's more than done its damage. I'm soaking wet. So are most of the fans out here. Biggs lost it. It goes out. And it's a throw for the Tigers. Two Raider subs waiting to come in. They won't allow them yet. Biggs and not sure what the call was there. May have been the way they're spotting it, either offsides or some other kind of infraction. And it looks like they weren't ready for that play to start either. Under five minutes to go as the free kick comes toward midfield that's headed out. I believe last touched by Tannenbaum, and it will be a throw in for Scarsdale. Now those two subs will come in. Koita and DeMello checking out. Oliver Yacoub, some fresh legs. He comes in for the first time. He'll be taking this throw. Tigers headed back out. Back in the middle, Patrick plays it up. DeSico couldn't get in the way of that one. Evans with a quick steal attempt, couldn't quite do it. Raiders play it up. Tigers with a clear. 
Stopped up by O'Reilly. He plays it through DeSico chasing. Merchant will get there first. And with Yacoub, they try to clear. O'Reilly got in the way, but couldn't do anything effective with it. Sent it toward the keeper, Lairberger. And he tells everyone to head down the field. Three and a half minutes left in this one. And it'll be a free kick for the Tigers. I think that call might have been a handball there. Tough to tell, not easy to see, even after the rain. This is Biggs. Tiger goes to passing. DeSico had a touch, kept in by Patrick. He tries to cross, and it's sent out. What's the call? Still don't know. I think it's. it's a, Tigers, the question is throw-in or corner. It's a corner with 2.45 left in the second OT. Liam O'Reilly will send it up. Everybody in the box. Ground ball comes through. Well, not much cooking there for the Tigers. As the Raiders quickly, that's Navias. They try to send it the other way, they get it through. Here come the Raiders. A nice leave. Cone couldn't do much with it. Tiger is trying to clear, it will stay in bounds as Patrick tries to bring it further. He keeps it in still. And that'll go a bit too far as Lairberger waits for to come into the box. Final two minutes. No matter what, unless a goal is scored, we'll have two minutes to play. This is where, actually more likely for a goal to be scored, teams might pull things a bit more on the aggressive side, which could either lead to a goal or a mistake that leads to a goal for the other team. This one played through for Scarsdale, time running down. The lead was not quite there. Raiders still with it. Gutierrez sends it across, and the header scores! Scarsdale wins! Their first win of the season against a top-notch opponent. The Tigers dealt their first loss. This league just got a whole lot more interesting. How about that? So that'll do it for us here on LMC Varsity Sports for this weekend. Homecoming football, two boys soccer games that both go to overtime. The Marinick dealt their first loss in stunning fashion in the waning minutes of the second overtime against Scarsdale. This has been Rob Moretti for LMC TV. Camera crew on today's game, braving it through the rain. Sean Kelly, Chris Lavinia, and Jeff Radow. We thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next weekend.